What is up ladies and gentlemen of my channel and Kingdom Playthroughs. Avenged here and welcome to episode 7. Uh, sorry there's been a... Oh look I still got this guy with me. Uh, sorry there's been a little delay in my uploading. I got really lazy actually. But uh... You tried mercy. What are you talking about? I'm actually going to... In this episode, or for the next bit of this recording, I'm going to be doing some small quests, searching some caves. You find just showing you uh, all that kind of stuff. One-handed weapons. Hmm. So what am I using? Oh, I don't even, oh, I don't even have a sword. Oh, 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 I mean a shield? Yeah, I do have a shield. Okay, Please. so what else is there? Okay. So now we uh, we have to go, what is it? Bleak Falls Barrow, we have to go retrieve the dragon. Actually, I'm going to go retrieve the dragon stone. Now, I want to ask you guys a little uh, favor here. You guys... Those of you who are watching my Skyrim Let's Play and you guys are enjoying it, if you guys want to see me, I don't know, do a bunch of random side quests for a bit, or if you guys want me to just continue with the main storyline and then do some random side quests, I'm gonna. My Let's Play is gonna be ending with the very end of the main storyline. And. But if, uh, people on my channel, or even on Kingdom Playthroughs, if you guys request. If it's allowed for Kingdom Playthroughs, if you guys request that uh, I do some extra little side quests or um, do some uh, find any glitches that have been talked about or anything like that, um, just ask away on my channel. Send me um, a personal message or a comment on my channel and I will get back to you for sure. So, yeah, I don't ignore my fans or anybody who watches my videos. So, I don't have to worry about that. So, now we're heading to Bleed Falls Barrow. I got some pretty cool looking shit. Oh, uh, what am I gonna be doing here? Oh, where do I go? I don't want to run into any wolves. Am I going the wrong way? There should be a path. I believe this might be around here. Aha! Oh, wait. Is this the path? Oh, here we go. Alright. Look at these bunnies. I hate life. All forms of life must die. Run away from me, I'll kill you. You stop running. Bad time to get lost, friend. Oh shit. Oh. Stand still. A sword and a pickaxe, huh? Steel sword. What am I doing with this one? Uh 12, that's 11. Ah, uh, jeez. Oh no, I'm not giving him anything. Okay, take the garnet, go and lockpick. Should be a couple more people here. It's like a chest here, I believe. Oh shit! Grab his arrows. Bring it! Bring it! Aha! Ow! Oh, he has a bit. A banded or bandled iron shield or some shit like that. I'm gonna grab that because that's actually better. Uh, banded iron shield. His full iron. Did I buy steel stuff? Is that what I have? Yeah. Crap, I need an actual steel. Dang it. Uh, missiles. Screw it. Let me switch my shields here. 24, 23. Yeah, plus one. I've gone through this part. Oh, fucking scared the hell out of me. <laughs> What's up? There is a chest up here. I like how many things are in this game where you can just. Like, uh, no, I don't want that. Representing storm cloaks everywhere. Ah, oh, love, blood, and violence. Oh man, today at work was just so ridiculous. <laughs> so slow and it's just boring as hell. Ooh, look at this. It's like the first ruin you definitely like you go to in the uh or first uh, uh ancient Nord ruin you go to and it's like the coolest looking one. Now if you guys saw on the uh the gameplay trailer, whatever it is, where the guy played for half an hour. There's no dragon up there, if you notice. 
Kind of bummed me out. I go back in my actual file every now and then to see if a dragon appears. They don't, so don't get your hopes up. I'm gonna keep an iron great sword because I'm, so I can work on my. I'm gonna keep a great sword, a bow, and a sword and shield always on me so I can raise all that stuff. Uh, when I get my uh, one hand to about ah, get away from me! Oh, what the hell happened? Oh, get owned! Ah, uh, ah, uh, come on! Have some pride in death. This is flash me your your pooter. Gross. Look at you, you're old. Anyway. So you guys know that I'm gonna be working basically on my uh combat my uh warrior combat skills. And I'm also gonna be working on like things like enchanting and smithing. All that jazz, so it should be much, much, much easier on this playthrough than my first one because I think I screwed a lot of things up. I put a lot into some magic seals that I don't even use anymore, so that that was a waste of some ooh waste of some points. And I don't have my bows and everything. Apparel that one weapons that one and that one. Okay. I see dead people. Prepare for death. Oh shit, I missed! Oh god, no! <laughs> Die! Ah! No! That was a fail and a half. Oh, oh I don't want. Ah, fuck it. I don't really like using maces and axes because they're slow. Like as I mentioned before, I prefer using um, swords because they're faster. And I don't know to me, I got this weird logic where the faster, the better. And like, if it's one or two damage off, then it doesn't really matter. As long as you're faster, it's all good. And I don't think I'm going to be using my bow in here. Oh, uh, actually, I'll pull up my great sword to do some damage with this thing. Now, it could seem tedious and everything, but if you see a uh, thing does not have empty on it, like you just saw, I took shit out, it says empty. Uh, search. Search them all, you'll, you can find, oh, crap. You can find gems, you can find, hell, you can even, somehow you can find crazy ass crap in urns. Found, like, flawless diamonds, those are worth like 500 bucks a piece. It's good stuff. It's a dead skeever. I think around here is where you start seeing the Draugr, the undead bastards. Oh, this stuff, don't grab it. Like, they have a lot of things on this game where it's just completely... Ah, why do I keep searching these... Ah, damn it. They got a lot of things on this game that are just completely useless. It's basically just for decoration, because they mummify their dead, the Nords. Oh, watch this. I usually go after them to get some experience, but this is funny. Mmm, I see a lever. I think I'm gonna press it. Why not? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so, this is one of the first uh, puzzles, uh, probably, unless you go into like completely d ditch the entire quest and went everywhere. Uh, this is the first puzzle you should be seeing. So you see, number one is snake. There is no number two up there, and number three is the whale. But if you look right here. That's the second one. So it, it'll go snake, snake, whale. So uh, these are like animals the Nords loved for some reason. I don't know. Maybe they loved them, maybe they didn't. But it's basically simple. So now, hopefully, I don't meet the same fate as that other guy. Nope, the door opened. But if you go up here, there's a health potion. Can't have too, uh, can't have too little of those. Over here is a health potion, a pickpocket level increaser. It's called Thief if you never grabbed one before. And oh, the skeevers are coming after me. Common soul gem. I'm going to hurry this up. Berry learn and a chest. Lockpick, minor potion stamina, good stuff. Bring it on, you have rodents. Ow. 
Bring it. I will dis- I will kill you all. Oh, I, I don't know why, like, when I play game- Oh, crap! When I play games like this, I can face dragons, I can face trolls, but it's like the little animal rodent things or the things that scare the hell out of me. I don't know why, but they do, like, in Oblivion, if I were to see, like, Oh, like, oh my god, it's a slaughterfish, run, run, oh, because, I don't know, I guess they just give me the creeps. Oh, how many skeletons usually has money on them? This guy is no help at all. Like, wow. Have I gained a level? Maybe I should. I'm right behind you. Let me see. Can you train me a better archery? I'll show you what I know. Uh. Yeah. What do you want me to carry? Okay. Can you train me better I'll show at archery? You what I know. Bam. What do you want me to carry? Yeah, I can level up now. This is like I'll the show you what I know. easiest shit you can do. Easiest way to level up archery for like the first little bit. Because archery is kind of tedious to level I'll up. One, you, you have a limited ammo supply. And that kind of buzz kills. And one, it's just annoying because at early I'll levels of archery, you, you, you miss a lot. And that's, I don't like missing. What do you want me to carry? Oh, I missed. So now let's do a little bit of leveling up here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we will level up some stamina for carrying weight. Uh, I see speech. Prices are better. I can probably wait to do that. Uh, let's see. We are going to be using one handed a lot more, two handed. Do I have any put in a one hand? I have one. Uh, I guess I'll put some in two hand, make my two handed weapons a little better. Lead on. For what we are about to face. <laughs> yeah, this thing tends to fuck people up. This is the first uh, mini boss, I suppose. It's wounded, so it's not as strong as an actual frostbite spider. Oh god! Oh, it died pretty damn quick, actually. Don't want any frostbite venom. Now, we usually search these dissected corpses. Not the ones of the skeevers, but the ones humans. Sometimes they have, like, lockpicks and stuff. Like, there you go, a lockpick. And he has gold. Now, him! This guy right here, if you let him down, he will try to run away from you. And your goal is to actually kill him, because he has a golden claw, which we do for uh, this. We'll paint that. So, he's the guy you have to get it from. So then, you just cut him down. It's but keep slashing away and kill the hell out of him. Kill him. And there, he's dead. You know, you can, you can read his journal if you want, but you don't really need to. Um, so that's all we need from this guy. Now, this is where we start meeting the Draugr. The inhabitants of this. Ah, oh, God, I keep searching, stupid. Okay, I gotta look before I search. Gold. Ah, uh, berry learn, empty, empty. Stuff inside. Gold. Cool, cool. These damn urns with nothing in them. This is where you start meeting the Draugr. They are uh, ancient Nords who worship dragons, so now they're cursed with undeath. Some are dead, some are alive, like this one over here, which I'm gonna kill right away. Ah! Now some, if you make it to them in time, you can kill them. And uh, these, some of their weapons are pretty decent at lower levels, but, and they look cool, but they tend to be, but they're not worth anything really in shops, so there's no point in grabbing them if you can get yourself, your hands in them. Ah, dude. Ah! Dang. Fucking them up. Now, are there any Draugr bodies I can loot? Right here? Yeah. Do they just bury them? They're dead with gold coins. Like, how much money you got on you? I got about 12 bucks. Nah, eh, throw it in with them. Okay. No sense going to the, the afterlife poor. Uh. Ah! Oh, that was close. Get him before he wakes up! Oh no! He's a higher level! Oh. Okay, cool. Quit buzz killing me! Go away! I'll make you go away if you. You know what? Actually. Uh. Should I? Actually. I've got your back. I'll show you.